Okay, let me see what else is going on here. Everybody says, bro, could you look on Adam 22's story? Let's check it out. Let me see what's going on. Here we go. I, I open. I mean, my call on that turn. Look at this. Joe Budden, you zesty, perkhead motherfucker. Somebody sent me a clip of Joe Budden claiming that No Jumper's doing real bad in terms of our views and everything. So let's do the science. Joe Budden's channel has got 12 million views in the past month. No Jumper's main channel plus our Clips channel has done about 26, 27 million views for the past month. So we are two times by far what you have going on. And on top of that, we kill it on Facebook. We kill it on Snapchat. We have 3 million followers on Instagram and we make a huge amount of money on there. Joe Budden, I don't want to hear shit. You're running a chop shop. You might have the whole hip hop media gassed into thinking that you're really killing it like that. But trust me, when you want to talk about who's really doing business out here, it's not you. There's a big three and you're not in it. It's me, Vlad, and that fat motherfucker you were sitting with. <laughs> oh, man. I got seen today at five. Okay. Um. All right. I, I, I'll, I'll address this. So... Two things. I do think Adam is right. And let me give him the things he's right about. I think when it comes to hip hop media platforms, I do think it's him being um, Vlad. And, 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 and we have to define platforms because, you know, they give out this award every year where they're like, yo, this, you know, they'll be like, creation now a platform. And yes, it technically is a platform. And anything is a platform, technically, right? Except, they put out a podcast once every two months. They're not really affecting the day-to-day -day happenings and the ebbs and flows and the news and the happenings really within the culture consistently. And also, they don't have part of their platform that is even built in to help the progression and, and dissemination of music, news, or whatever. That's why, like, Akari should please, as a podcast, I wouldn't consider... Unless it was like a Joe Rogan type of situation, but which is not, I wouldn't consider it to be like even in that pat platform discussion, right? I think what we have, you know, um, just naturally we start as a news channel just on YouTube. These days we do pretty much streams um, in, in terms of that. But beyond that, um, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, Snap or whatever else, that's kind of like the conglomerate of at least what we do when it comes to news, Vlad clearly has like a like this whole network of videos, but it's but it's kind of also kind of newsworthy as well. You know, what I mean, very, you know, it's it's not necessarily important the news, but it's almost like giving commentary about ex exactly happening things, and you're getting multiple people. Adam, I believe what he does with No Jumper is is that too. You get what I mean? Except he has a bunch of shows that are pretty much constantly you know churning along with the culture. Joe has, I have always said, the number one podcast. Number one podcast that is in hip-hop. It's not even close. Um, but do I look at his podcast as a, like, the like the hip-hop media? It is a hip-hop media platform, but do I look at it like, you know what I mean, that's, like, the premiere, that's where the culture is happening at? No. I think they're the, like, they're the first take or the, the the undisputed of, you know, the culture, but you wouldn't call undisputed first take the biggest, you know, platform. You'd probably call, like, maybe, like, ESPN or, like, whatever, like, or Fox Sports, the the platform in terms of that, or even Barstool Sports. Well, actually, they're not that big. Okay. Now, so I agree with them with this big three hip-hop media thing. What I, what I will say, though, is that I believe when it comes to hip-hop personalities meaning people and 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 um people that affect the conversation their opinion affects the conversation who they sit with affects the conversation and what conversation they're having is the conversation that is different from platform right and a hundred percent in that big three joe is in it you know a hundred percent 
Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I believe, that's why I, keep, I said it on a couple of streams ago. I said I believe when it comes to hip-hop media personality, the Spider-Man meme is me looking at Joe. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I do believe that this whole situation we're seeing now with Drake and everybody else, I don't think it gets to a helm like this. I don't think the narrative is playing like this. By the way, you could tell it was being set up that the top rappers in the game, they're caring about the narrative that's coming out with this because of how Drake has reacted to Joe fucking reviewing his album before, how Drake has reacted to how we've even covered certain shit or how I've done stuff before. So I think that's a different bag. So, you know what I mean? Again, we're all in hip hop meeting. I'm happy to be with all of these guys. This is, you know why this is great? Because every one of us, whether it's me, Joe, Vlad, Adam, um, shit, Sean Cotton, you can't leave my boy out of there. Um, salute to, there's all these other platforms that, by the way, there's even other platforms, like even like Art of Dialogue, you have, you know what I mean, Bomb First, you have, there's, uh, shit, 16 Shot Them, you got, of course, um, Fig Muni World, like all these people, we are all in independent hip-hop media, everybody, right? Platform, I'm, I'm gonna look at a little bit different than personality, and, uh, I, I put Joe more on the personality, if, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll say even this that's a little bit shocking. Maybe shocking to y'all. Well, clearly Joe is the number one. And, I, and I'm not talking about numbers. I'm not talking about numbers. I'm talking about meaningful. The number one podcast. So the Joe Bun podcast is the number one podcast. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what other podcast currently comes close. Um, I think there was a time Gillian Waller was challenging for that number one spot. I don't know if that's the case anymore. You get what I mean? I think Joe and his pulse of the culture from his podcast is is by far, and I don't know if the numbers is reflecting that, but by far it's it's the most impactful, most whatever podcast. And um, yeah, even I'm gonna be honest with you. I think yeah, well, I think the big three in podcasts, and this is me being honest and and trying to be as humble. And I guess it's easy to be humble when I. But I feel like I'm on two of these lists, right? <laughs> I might not be on the big three podcast list, but I'm on the big three personality list, I think, and the big three um, platform list, which I've always strived for. Like, I always built the platform in myself to hopefully meet each other at the top. Anyway, uh, the big three podcasts, I believe, is Joe Bun Podcast, Gillian Wallow, and... Um, and Drink champs. And actually, let me change that. Let me change that. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Because I was going to throw Shannon Sharp in there. Shannon Sharp been doing a lot more hip-hop-esque type things, even though sometimes it's more comedy. But, yeah. Uh, but hip-hop media platforms, yeah. No jumper is in there. You got to throw it in there. Um, and Vlad. I think sometimes people neglect Vlad because, you know, Vlad is the guy who started the model. I don't need the hottest artist, but I'll still run it up. And now people use his interviews as a library of knowledge, and he's created stars out of people who we thought were irrelevant. You know what I mean? With all due respect to people like Tony Ayo and things like that. You know what I mean? Like, shit, Boosie is, you know, Boosie's charging. I think Boosie charges, like, 60 bands to go sit down with, like, especially a random. <laughs> like, think about that. A nigga charging 60 bands, bro, to go sit down with somebody? I heard Aiden was about to pay him, like, between fifty and $80,000 just to come on the stream. Why? Is because Boosie is, I mean, Boosie is Boosie, but, like, he's primarily become, like, this figure that, number one, Vlad, I think, number one, Vlad is the one who started paying niggas, period, in hip-hop. I don't, I don't know if y'all knew, nobody was getting paid. Like, uh, interviewees never got paid. I still don't pay interviewees. Um, but Vlad Vlad started doing it just because I think it, it, would, it made it easier for him to get the type of guests when he wanted. So, yeah. All right, somebody said 85 South Show. Okay, uh, see, so I would say 85 South Show is like comedy podcast, right? So I think there, I'll tell you the big three in co hip-hop comedy podcast, 85 South Show, um, Brilliant Idiots, and what else will we put in, the, in what we're doing, com hip-hop comedy. Mm. Okay, anyway, uh, so I'm kind of agreeing. I'm kind of agreeing, but I'm agreeing on I'm, I'm agreeing on the platform. Okay, it has to be platform. If it's not platform, nah, 
y'all can't play with y'all can't play with Joe. Joe been doing his thing, man. Somebody said eighty five is ass. No, it's not. I think they drop directly now on like an app or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Fifty one fifty. Okay. Yeah, shit, that's hip hop. Fifty one fifty. Eighty five South Show. Somebody said funny Marco. Hmm. Okay. All right, people. All right, all right, all right, all right. And also, hip hop media personality overall. Uh, uh you know, I, I do believe Charlemagne is still in the top three. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I just think when it comes to relevant hip hop conversations, sometimes he, you know, sometimes he, he, he doesn't seem like the most like involved. While Joe still seems like he's so fucking passionate. I mean, obviously he was a former rapper. Right. And me, I don't got shit else but just to be passionate about hip hop. You know, Charlemagne's likes are all over the place these days. Um, but he's obviously, when we're talking about personality, still one of the goats. That's say I talked to Charlemagne. I did. I spoke to Charlemagne. Um, he had hit me. Remember, I told you, I was like, yeah, you know, Charlemagne could have hit my phone. He, he had hit my phone. He was like, yo, act. It's like, yo, why niggas always want us, us to beef, bro? <laughs> and I was just like, because remember, this was after the, the whole thing where it's like, yo, my sons, I'm never coming home. And people were like, nah, he's talking to you. He's son of you. And he basically said, yo, act, why do you always want us to beef, bro? Like, well, what's going on, dog? He was just like, bro, let's chop it up later, bro. But um, yeah, no beef. Okay, 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 okay. 